What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the Combat Cast. So, unfortunately for myself, I can't do my signature intro given that my arm is in a sling, broken collarbone, all that. But anyways, I'm not here to talk about that. So, One Championship has just announced that Stamp Bairtex, the current One Atom Weight World Champion, will be defending her one Adam Weight world title against none other than Denise Zamboanga. And I can't tell you how happy I am to hear this news. Uh, one, because Denise is a friend of mine, and two, this is actually an overdue title shot for Denise Zamboanga. As far as I can remember, you know, in all the years I've been watching one championship. Denise was actually promised a title shot as far back as, get this, February 28th, 2020. I specifically remember following her uh, rather dominant victory over Mei Yamaguchi, her, her second fight in one championship. The commentary booth specifically said that Chatri Sidyad Tong said that her next fight, as in Denise Zamboanga's next fight, would be a title shot against then Adam Waite champion Angela Lee, who has since retired to focus on other endeavors. But then um, Angela Lee uh, got pregnant, and so that put on the sidelines. And instead of holding an interim title fight, one championship decided to host the One Women's Atom Weight Grand Prix, which, in my eyes, did not go as well as I hoped. Uh, uh, yeah, there were a lot of um, injury withdrawals, uh, you know, in the semifinal rounds. And much to my frustration, Denise also got screwed over in her quarterfinal fight, which was in the open, which was basically the opening round of the One Atom Weight Grand Prix against Sohi Ham, in what was by no means an, uh, you know, an eventful fight. It was mostly like Denise trying to grapple with uh, Sohi Ham, trying to get her, take her down, get her to the ground. Um, uh, Denise lost by split decision, which prevented her from advancing in the Grand Prix. And okay, ultimately, Stamp Vertex ended up winning the Grand Prix, uh, which was to me, I was happy for Stamp, you know, because I'm, I'm I am from Thailand, so you got to support your Thai athletes, you know, because there aren't many Thai good Thai MMA fighters, and yeah. So with the Adam Waite Grand Prix victory, Stamp Vertex became the number one contender to face then champion Angela Lee, who had just returned from, you know, giving birth. Uh, so Stamp Vertex lost her first title shot against Angela Lee, um, uh, and she was dominated, to say the least. She lost by second round rear naked choke submission. But then. And then uh, Angela Lee suffered a family tragedy, and uh, it was decided that one championship would host an interim one atom weight championship bout between Stamp Vertex and Sohi Ham. Now, a friend of mine in the fight community said uh, one championship has been doing everything in its power to delay the Stamp Fairtex versus Denise Zamboanga matchup for as long as possible. Now, of course, this is all just merely speculation. I have no concrete evidence for this, but, you know, when you look at the optics, it seems that way, you know? But, to me, a fight between Stamp Fairtex and Denise Zamboanga just seems like the most appealing thing because there's so much of a backstory, you know, because for a time before Denise Zamboanga returned to training in the Philippines, 
Denise was actually based in Thailand. She trained at Fairtex, which is actually Stamps' uh, current training camp. So yeah, Denise trained at Fairtex for a while uh, before she moved to the lesser known Maroc gym. But anyways, yeah, so I don't know why, but yeah, they there just wasn't any plans for a Stamp Fairtex versus Denise Zambawanga matchup in the cards. And yeah, so all of a sudden, one decides to host the interim atom weight title fight between Stamp and Sohi Ham at one fight night 14. Now at the time, Angela Lee's future is uh, uncertain in terms of MMA competition. Actually, she was actually leaning towards retirement, but you know, one championship in Chhatri Sidyad Tong wouldn't uh, announce when she was going to make her retirement official. But surprise, surprise, Angela Lee announces her retirement right before the title fight between Stamp and Sohi Ham. And just like that, the fight becomes one for the undisputed one Adam Weight world title. Now, in storybook fashion, Stamp Fairtex, the former Muay Thai fighter, uh, defeats Sohi Ham by knockout to become the new one women's atom weight world champion and also become the first three sport world champion in one championship and okay i was happy but at the back of my mind i was also thinking damn denise zambuanga got screwed over pretty bad you know from being promised a title shot back in february 2020 to then you know being put into a a tournament where you're path to the title becomes a detour okay and then she loses in pretty controversial fashion in the opening round of said tournament and it just crushes all hopes of her getting a title shot you know she like it seemed like she wasn't going to get a title shot anytime soon so yeah after losing the Adam Waite Grand Prix quarterfinal to Sohi Ham Denise Zambawanga went two and one in one championship, including a loss in a rematch to Sohi Han. This time, it was a pretty uh, clear loss. But then she picked up two straight wins against Lin Ha Chin and Julie Metza Barba, who I might add the latter tested positive for a multitude of banned substances. So, uh, hats off to Denise for beating a, for all I know, juiced up opponent. And yeah, and. Funnily enough, as I was about to attend the BKFC Thailand 5 event, I met up with Denise and her her brother and Jeremy Miado, you know, all the old all the you know old crew from the former Maroc gym team. And Denise, she you know, she basically motions to me to come over. You know, she as if she has something to tell to tell me. And she she whispers to me, and she's like, don't tell anyone yet, but I think I'm going to fight Stamp soon. And I'm like, holy shit, I hope you're not kidding me. And, you know, I, you know, Denise has been with one for, what, close to four years now. And, well, by then... At the time she told me, which was November 2023, she'd been with them for over three years. What she was telling me, you know, there was some weight to it. So I guess I was hoping they would finally give her her much deserved title shot. And now finally seeing it announced on the one championship, you know, social media pages. I can't help but feel happy for Denise. So Denise. Congratulations, you really deserve it. Yeah, and I guess that's why I hopped on to make a quick video. And yeah, I can't help but feel happy for her. You know, this was a long time coming. I can't help but say one screwed her over big time. They passed her over. Denise is a really talented fighter from the Philippines. 
and yeah, I she's championship material. She'll give Stamp a run for her money, and uh, you know, Stamp may come from a big powerhouse gym like Fairtex, but uh, you know, never count never count out the underdogs either, you know, because in a sport in MMA, anything can happen. Don't count anyone out. Yeah. So, yeah, that's pretty much all I wanted to say. And uh, the two will meet up at 1166 at the, the one event in Qatar on March the 1st. So yeah, I look forward to seeing them throw down. So until then, I will be I will be waiting with bated breath. So yeah, I think that about wraps it up. Okay. So for those of you who made it this far, please don't forget to hit like and subscribe. And for those of you who made it to the very end, I wish you all a good morning, good afternoon, and good night.